I came to show up. I think James Gallagher's here. He didn't, he didn't step in this cage with me tonight, so I'm ready for July. You know, Jimmy, you said you signed the contract, so let's get it signed this weekend. Give me anyone, everyone, and a big bag of money, and I'll fight any one of them. Goes down. He's done. It's over. What a debut. Me there from Gallagher. Gallagher does it. James Gallagher in July, unless he keeps running. Give me that belt. It's mine. Mix looking for the takedown early, hooks a leg, back, climbs his back immediately, body triangle. Wow, what a start for Mix. This is what we were talking about. This is a bad situation for Ricky Bandeos. Now, that doesn't mean that, you know, the Patch is going to be able to finish his fight here, but this is Pat Mix's specialty, getting the back and keeping it. Four of Mix's six submissions have been via rear neck and choke. He's looking for one early here in the opening. He is, and he's trying to lock that hand behind. He's already got the one around that neck. Bandeos has been submitted via rear naked choke. He's got problems right here, Morrow. He goes he's down. Trouble. He's done. It's over. What a debut. Patrick Mix with a first round rear naked choke. And, you know, there's just sometimes guys can do things that other guys can't. And Patchy has got that ability. There he goes. One little mistake by Ricky Bandejas, and he's got the back, he's got the body triangle, and now he starts working the hands, and he's so good at working that choke in. Look at all of his wins. Most of them are by that rear naked choke. You don't want to be in a bad position with 3.30 left to go in the round. Let's see what Gallagher does from here and how patient he is. And Sheeta trying to sneak out. On his left side, you've got to put your back to the mat. And see how Gallagher is trying to pull him over to the right. And that's his key to negate that. Now body triangle. Gallagher, very long legs. Um, Machida's cut around the left eye. You can see some of the blood on the canvas. And continuous strikes from young James Gallagher. Chinzo just trying to cover up. This is his move. Rear naked choke in round one. Using strikes just to set it up, just to get Chinzo Machina's chin back. He got it. it. It is all over. James Gallagher once again by rear naked choke. Patient on the back, just using those short strikes. Look how it pops his head back. It pops the forehead of Chinzo Machida back just enough to get that arm underneath the chin. And what you hear, it is good night. This is where when you're in a cage and you have the fence, it can alter what you're able to do. You know what to do, but the actual surroundings are keeping you from being able to accomplish it. Now he's got enough space that he can make that arm, arm triangle choke work. That's the moment. The real question is, how did he squeeze hard on the first attempt, or are his arms actually feeling good? Just past the midpoint of the final round, Patchy yeah, Mix putting tight. the squeeze here on the arm triangle attempt. Yeah. And there is a tap, and Patchy Mix bounces back in impressive fashion as he improves to 14 and 1, picking up his 10th submission. See him setting up this arm triangle choke, gets the pressure in the right spot. You see that body lean towards the head and shoulder. He's driving Albert Morales' own arm into his neck on one side, very tight. On the defensive, the entire fight thus far. He just needs to start shimmying his body, start switching. Ah, smart move by James Geller. He felt himself getting off center, moved his legs, switched his body triangle. He's got a bit of a face crank going right now. Slipping it in. Graham's got to get that on your knees or he's in trouble. He's going to go out. Fight's over. It is all over! He got him to the ground quick. Here's that body triangle. He was coming off, and he switches that body triangle. That right there is everything because it's when you try to hold on to something that you know you're losing, that shows that you don't have confidence as a fighter. But when you're willing to take the chance of switching, transitioning, that's what you're seeing, and that's why he gets this choke that is going to put him out outstanding. He's going after different things. He's trying to switch things up to create that problem where Isaiah gets caught a move behind and then can't catch.
match back up to stop what Patchy Nix is doing. Like Josh made the point about the fight we saw before, if you hold on to one attempt too long, you can burn yourself out. You In this case, Patchy No Love Nix is not doing that. Now he's going after look what he's doing here. This is a pseudo stretch if he gets it. That is a painful maneuver. Right here, when he goes and you see him drop it back, I knew he was thinking of that silhouette stretch. He grabs that ankle and now he straightens the leg. And when he does, the pressure on the hamstring is incredible. You see that leg can stretch all the way across the body. I think James Gallagher is hoping it doesn't end up in that way, in that situation for him. He wants to have a dominant performance. The knee there from Gallagher. Right you know, at the start. You know, a nice guillotine right here. If you saw us right there, he's looking to hit that hook sweep. Pull his feet out so he can't hit that butterfly anymore. He's got a real active guard. That guillotine's kind of tight. He's tapped. Gallagher does it. 30 seconds in. The Strabanimal eats another opponent. Late notice, and then this happens. Jimmy leaves the ground, nice flying knee, grazes him a little bit, puts his head down. Gallagher goes right to the arm and guillotine. Tries to hook sweep him, couldn't get the hook sweep, so he wrapped the legs, tried to finish it from there. Fingers were in the face, the ref was telling him, get the fingers out of the face. Salazar couldn't do anything else to defend. Head was too deep, you see the tap.